As I stand before you today, we have more than 100 coronavirus cases in the United States. That is counting domestic cases and cases of coronavirus of Americans that were returned uh, from China or the Diamond uh, Princess. Uh, I'm pleased to report that most of those uh, who contracted coronavirus uh, within our care are continuing to recover. Uh, but sadly, we received word today that another American has passed away and their family has our deepest condolences. <clears throat> to be clear, if you are a healthy American, the risk of contracting the coronavirus remains low. But it is still a good idea to engage in common sense practices that, that are always recommended this time of year. Is We've got hospitals in affected areas and those that are requesting that have kits. We've got universities and state labs that now can perform the test uh, on a requested basis. But our objective ultimately, and as quickly as possible, is to have tests made through these commercial laboratories and commercial providers that your local doctor, your, your CVS, your med check is able to have a coronavirus test. And uh, that isn't there yet. We're working to make that a reality. And we were pleased to learn that uh, just shortly ago, the House of Representatives passed a federal funding bill uh, by a virtually unanimous margin. It'll now move to the Senate. And the, the legislation implements the President's vision to ensure that not only do our federal agencies have the support and resources that they need, but also that our state and local partners have their support. And in my conversations with governors all the way through this afternoon, I know they're grateful for the bipartisan spirit that has characterized uh, this funding bill and will continue to work through that process.